Welcome to the NFC East 2013 preview where no team is dominant, no team's all that bad. Any team can finish with six wins or 10 wins depending on roll of the dice. Don't recommend gambling on this division, but if you must, here's where I'd place my bets. The division champion Redskins are essentially the same team they were in 2012, plus Brian Arakpo back from a torn pec and Robert Griffin III's repaired, re-repaired knee. There's no reason to think that they can't get to 10 wins again, which is exactly why they won't. It's just how the NFC East works. Don't ask questions. I see them getting under eight and a half wins. As for the Giants, the vaunted defense is a myth. The 2012 team finished 31st in yards allowed and 22nd in quarterback sacks. And that was before OCU Manura left for Atlanta. Oh, and the offensive line, completely decimated by injury. This is not a playoff team. Go ahead and take the under on nine wins. So if the Redskins and Giants are moving down, who's moving up? The Dallas Cowboys. I know, I know, we all expect Tony Romo to throw a back-breaking interception in week 16 or 17 to submarine the Cowboys' playoff hopes, but I think this is the year that Tony Romo finally doesn't choke. Until the playoffs. Go ahead and take the over on eight and a half wins. Division champs. The Chip Kelly Eagles will be a lot more fun than the 2012 team that got just four wins, but are they good enough to be 500? Eh, I don't know about that. I love the offense, they're gonna put up points, but I don't think they're four wins better in the first year of having a 3-4 defense. So there's your NFC East quick and dirty preview. Every team is flawed, no team is terrible. I think the Cowboys will come out of the scrum to get a playoff spot, but I'd prefer not to put money on it.